You mean you still don't know? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 reasons you need to know who Lakeith Stanfield is. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're breaking down the top reasons for why you need to be following the career of actor and rapper Lakeith Stanfield. Number 5. His Breakout Role in Short Term 12 In his first feature film performance, Lakeith Stanfield straight up kills it. Powerful barely scratches the surface, as the California native's take on a troubled teen on the cusp of being released from his group home is nothing short of brilliant. I usually keep my hair long. That's when she used to hit me in. In hindsight, it was but a taste of what was yet to come from the young actor, who since made a career out of playing eclectic and emotionally rich characters. Short Term 12, which also stars Brie Larson, John Gallagher Jr., and Rami Malek, has no shortage of excellent performances, but it's Stansfield that will stick with you long after the credits roll. It don't matter now, damn near 18. Number 4, his break into mainstream success. Yo, chill, man. Chill, 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 chill man. Stanfield's ascension from bit player to leading man was a slow one, but despite this, he has appeared in a number of major productions. In fact, you could say that Lakeith Stanfield has been hiding in plain sight since 2014. In that year alone, he appeared in The Purge Anarchy and Selma, the former of which took home more than $111 million at the box office while the latter was nominated for two Academy Awards. 2015 was even better, with solid performances in Dope and Straight Outta Compton. They can get down on it. Almost definitely. Of course, 2017 is where it all came together thanks to the critically acclaimed Get Out and Death Note, the latter of which, despite being a subpar film, still featured a strong showing from the young actor. Would you mind singing a song for me? Number three, he raps. You got some new lyrics you want to try out on me? Stanfield, who showed off his rapping ability on screen in Short Term 12 and Straight Outta Compton, is actually a rapper in real life. While he's been at it for years, he didn't release anything truly noteworthy until 2014, when he and music producer Rishikesh Hirway released their debut EP after teaming up to form rap group Moors. Hirway's instrumentals are stripped down and dreamlike, and Stanfield's lyrics are a beautiful blend of the intellectual and the gritty. I lit the stoke at dawn and just admit it. And be honest, ain't no need in moving on if I keep slipping, slipping. While they haven't released anything worth writing about since that first EP, we're hoping they get back in the studio sooner rather than later, something that's always tough when one member is a major Hollywood star. So put me in your book so you know what it's like to live a life not knowing what a normal life's like. Number two, he's a fan favorite on Atlanta. There he is. If you've already seen season one of Atlanta, great. Keep watching this video. If not, stop what you're doing and go check it out. The critically acclaimed and award-winning show straddles the line between insightful and surreal, and Lakeith Stanfield's Darius is more than happy to act as the gatekeeper between both worlds. As humans, we're always close to destruction. Life itself is but a series of close calls. A philosophizing stoner who calls his gun daddy waxes poetic about how AIDS was invented to keep Wilt Chamberlain from breaking the sex record, and one of the few black men who knows who Steve McQueen is, Darius is as nuanced as they come. Thankfully, the character is in the hands of an actor with the range to pull it off. AIDS was invented to keep Wilt Chamberlain from beating Steve McQueen's sex record. And by 69, he was already number three on the all-time list. Number one his upcoming projects. I'm really interested in being challenged as a performer, and also, if I can, say something. If you thought his past projects were on point, wait until you hear what Lakeith Stanfield has lined up for 2018. First, the sci-fi comedy Sorry to Bother You will make its debut at the Sundance Film Festival in January. He'll follow that by reprising the role of Darius in the second season of Atlanta, set to premiere on March 1st. Next, he'll be featured in the Netflix drama Come Sunday alongside the likes of Chiwetel Ejiofor, Martin Sheen, and Jason Segel. Finally, he has a small role in an adaptation of the crime thriller The Girl in the Spider's Web. Suffice it to say, Lakeith Stanfield's star is as bright as 